A reading from Genesis. Today is February 4th. Our Genesis reading is chapter 35. God said to Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel and remain there, and build an altar there to the God who appeared to you when you were fleeing from your brother Esau. So Jacob said to his household and to all who were with him, Rid yourself of the alien gods in your midst, purify yourselves, and change your clothes. Come, let us go up to Bethel, and I will build an altar there to God who answered me when I was in distress, and who has been with me wherever I have gone. They gave to Jacob all the alien gods they had, and the rings that were in their ears, and Jacob buried them under the terebinth that was near Shechem. As they set out, a terror from God fell on the cities round about, so that they did not pursue the sons of Jacob. Thus Jacob came to Luz, that is Bethel, in the land of Canaan, he and all the people who were with him. There he built an altar and named the site El Bethel, for it was there that God had revealed himself to him when he was fleeing from his brother. Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, died and was buried under the oak below Bethel, so it was named Alon Bakuth. God appeared again to Jacob on his arrival from Pad Padan Aram, and he blessed him. God said to him, you whose name is Jacob, you shall be called Jacob no more, but Israel shall be your name. Thus he named him Israel. And God said to him, I am El Shaddai, be fertile and increase. A nation, ye an assembly of nations, shall descend from you. Kings shall issue from your loins. The land that I assigned to Abraham and Isaac, I assign to you. And to your offspring to come will I assign the land. God parted from him at the spot where he had spoken to him, and Jacob set up a pillar at the site where he had spoken to him, a pillar of stone, and he offered a libation on it and poured oil upon it. Jacob gave the site where God had spoken to him the name of Bethel. They set out from Bethel, but when they were still some distance short of Ephrath, Rachel was in childbirth and she had hard labor. When her lab labor was at the hardest, the midwife said to her, Have no fear, for it is another boy for you. But as she breathed her last, for she was dying, she named him Ben-Ani, but his father called him Benjamin. Thus Rachel died. She was buried on the road to Ephrath, now Bethlehem. Over her grave, Jacob set up a pillar. It is the pillar at Rachel's grave to this day. Israel journeyed on and pitched his tent beyond Migdal Eder. While Israel stayed in that land, Reuben went and laid with Bilhah, his father's concubine, and Israel found out. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve in number, the sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun, the sons of Rachel, Joseph and Benjamin, the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's maid, Dan and Naphtali, and the sons of Zilpah, Leah's maid, Gad and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob who were born to him in Padan Aram. And Jacob came to his father Isaac at Mamre at Kirath Arba, now Hebron, where Abram and Isaac had sojourned. Isaac was a hundred and eighty years old when he breathed his last and died. He was gathered to his kin in ripe old age, and he was buried by his sons Esau and Jacob.